Sprite Actions. In this section, we are going to see how to perform animations in the shooting game we have been creating using Sprite Sheet. Let's start by opening the Aim and Shoot project by double-clicking the Xcode project file. We can see that the background sprite and the play sprite has already been added to the scene, along with the sound effect on startup. Two menu items are also added to the main menu scene, which will load the game scene and help scene on selection. We have also seen how to add sprite sheet animations. Here we are going to see more about giving actions to sprite in Cocos 2D. First, let's change the position of the sprite sheet animation to off-screen and run the application. We cannot see the sprite sheet animation now on the screen. This is because we have made it off-screen. Now we can see how to animate this sprite with sprite animation to the screen from off-screen. For this, let's create a new CC action object using the CC Move 2 subclass of CC Action. We can use its action with duration position method for this. The first parameter for this method is the duration for the action to be performed, and the second parameter is the position to which the object is to be moved in the specified duration. Now assign this move action to the sprite with sprite sheet animation using the run action method. Run the application and we can see that the sprite object moves from the off-screen position to the position mentioned in the duration that is mentioned in the code. Let's increase the duration and run the application to see the difference. We can see that the movement became slow. This is because we have increased the duration for the move animation. So we have seen how to add move animation to a sprite. Next we can see how to add scale animation to the sprite. For this, let's create a new CC Action object using the CC Scale 2 subclass of CC Action. We can use its Action with Duration Scale method for this. The first parameter for this method is the duration for the action to be performed, and the second parameter is the scale factor to which the object needs to be scaled to. Now assign this scale action to the same sprite with Sprite Sheet Animation using the Run Action method. Run the application and open the game scene. We can see that the spaceship sprite now has three animations, sprite sheet, move, and scale animations at the same time. So we will get a revolving spaceship thanks to sprite sheet animation, which is moving and becomes smaller as it moves away from the bottom of the screen, thanks to the move and scale animations. So using these three animations, we now have a spaceship which looks like it's moving away from us while revolving on its own. So in this section, we have seen how to give move and scale animations. We have also seen how to assign multiple animations to a single sprite in Cocos 2D.